Hello class, this is section 7.3 and we are going to do a quick partial fractions review. So let's calculate the partial fraction decomposition of this fraction. The first thing you do is to always factor the denominator and often you have to use the quadratic formula to do this but in this case it's uh, pretty easy because it's a difference of two squares. So we factor the denominator as s plus 3, s minus 3. And partial fractions means that we can just separate it out in terms of the linear denominators, like this. And our goal is to find a and b. We do this by multiplying both sides by the denominator of the fraction on the left. So we multiply both sides by s plus 3, s minus 3. And what we get is s equals a times s minus 3 plus b times s plus 3. And our goal is to eliminate each of the a and b in turn. So our first case is just s equals positive 3. And the reason we want that case is that this makes the s minus 3 term next to the a equal to 0. So we have 3 equals a times 0, and that's why we chose s equals 3, plus b times 6. And this leaves us with b equals 1 half. Our second case is s equals minus 3. And this leaves us with a minus, minus 3 equals a times minus 6 plus b times 0, which gives us, again, minus 3 equals minus 6a. So a is also equal to 1 half. But this means that looking back at our decomposition here, we have s, s squared plus 9, equals 1 half, 1 s plus 3, plus 1 half, 1 over s minus 3. And this is our partial fraction decomposition.